Today we're working on dry ice. Can't wait. And I want to say that Mr. C Live is brought to you by the Dayton Metro Library and our friends at PBS Think TV. We're super excited to have another amazing week here with all of you. And I know that you guys have been waiting for this exciting week as well. So we're doing dry ice today. We've got liquid nitrogen stuff tomorrow and Wednesday. And if we have enough liquid nitrogen to move into Thursday, I've got other experiments for that as well. But we're doing some dry ice today. And you guys might be saying, what is dry ice? So we're gonna start with something that we all know what it is. And I have an ice cube. So we know an ice cube is water, H2O. And this ice cube right here, I just took it out of the freezer, super cold. It's actually 32 degrees Fahrenheit. So that is the freezing point. So this ice cube is 32 degrees Fahrenheit. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this piece of ice, and we're just gonna set it into this little cup and let it sit here for our entire episode today and see what it looks like afterwards. Because we know that ice goes through phase changes. Oh, it's running down my hand. So ice cube is frozen water. It goes, turns into a liquid. And then if we heat it up and if we can break those H2O bonds, it turns into a gas. So I'm gonna set that right there. We're also going to grab some dry ice. So this is a piece of dry ice and it is frozen H2O. Now I'm not gonna hold it that long with this little glove. That glove is just to give me a little bit of insulation. I've got a bigger glove, a heavier duty or glove because dry ice is minus 110 degrees Fahrenheit. Minus, below zero, super cold, super duper cold. And you can already see it starting to smoke. And what's happening is dry ice, actually, you know what? Let's put, we know that this ice cube is going to do something in this cup. Let's put a piece of this, I'm gonna get just a smaller piece so it's almost the same size of our as our ice cube. There we go. We're gonna put this into this one, and then we're going to just let them sit. So I'm gonna just put these right over here. I'm trying to find a place to put them. We have to come back to those. So the light pink is our ice cube. The dark red is our dry ice. Now dry ice is super cool because we know that an ice cube is made of water, H2O. Dry ice is actually CO2. Everybody take a deep breath in. Breathe out. We're exhaling carbon dioxide. That is what dry ice is. It's frozen carbon dioxide. All right, so what we're gonna do here, I have pellets, I have dry ice pellets that look like this. And then I also have, find a good piece. A block of dry ice. Now, folks use dry ice when they go on trips. They wrap it in newspaper, put it in their cooler because it stay, keeps things cooler much longer. Um, and we're going to put it on this plate and let's see if it does anything. It's really hard to hear. But it went <laughs> No, it's vibrating because I've got an idea. Listen, listen. That is our dry ice, if you can hear that. I'm going to take a coin. We'll try it with a spoon also. Can you hear that? That is a vibration being caused. The dry ice. Sounds like a school bell, like <laughs> school's in session. Ding, 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 ding. So the dry ice is really cool because dry ice is different than water. Dry ice goes from a solid straight to a gas. 
and we call that sublimation. It's skipping the liquid phase. And so what's happening is, is as it's sublimating, it's causing this spoon that's resting on top of it to vibrate. And when things vibrate, we've talked about it before, things produce sound. It really does sound like a bell. All right, so I also have a quarter here. I don't know if this is gonna work. I've seen this on YouTube before. You can go closer to this. That I can turn this one. Do you want me to turn this a little bit? Yeah. Nope, I just want to use your hand. Like that? Sure, if you want. I was just gonna see like go forward. Go forward? All right, here we go. So I'm gonna to try to put a quarter, try to get a quarter to sit in it. So the quarter is at room temperature. Uh, I was hoping it would vibrate. So it's sitting in there, but it's not vibrating. I thought it might be like. Ooh, that's getting cold. So the quarter is losing its heat energy to the cold piece of dry ice. So I want to put some gloves on to protect my fingies. All right, so that's not making the sound I wanted it to. I wanted it to do something like this again, but it didn't. So if you have dry ice at your house, most of you probably don't, but if you go and get dry ice, they have it at uh, grocery stores locally. Um, Meyer sells it here in the region. I know that because I bought it there before. But I get my dry ice from a company called Air Gas down in Moraine. And they're super cool, super nice. All right, here we go. So that there is a huge chunk of dry ice. I'm actually going to set that back here as well. We'll come back to that later to see what it does. All right. So you're probably thinking, what is happening today? So I want to show you some really cool things you can do with dry ice. That maybe, if you want, you can do now, or you can wait to Halloween and have some fun with it. All right, so we're pouring a little bit of water. And this is warm water out of the tap. So I got it as hot as I could get. It's about 10 minutes old now, so it's might be a little cooler. But what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put a piece of this into here. So what's happening is that dry ice, the temperature difference, let's just say that the water is 100 degrees. We're just gonna ballpark it. The water is 100 degrees. The dry ice is minus 110 degrees Fahrenheit. That's over 200 degrees difference. And what's happening is it's causing this to sublimate faster. All right, so the dry ice is turning into a gas even faster than it does just sitting here. It's sublimating faster, and then it's producing this fog. And my question is, you can see the fog rolling off. Now, wouldn't this look cool like in a pumpkin on your front porch at Halloween? Like, like dragon's breath coming out so we actually talked about this before we know that carbon dioxide is slightly heavier than the air around it so the cloud that's being formed here is hanging out right here it's rolling over because we have more gas being produced but ultimately it sits right there and then I can take it and pour it out And this reaction is going to continue going until two things happen. One, the piece of dry ice has sublimated completely. Or two, well, that'll happen. But eventually, the dry ice is so cold that it's causing, I can feel the water temperature changing. It's getting cooler to the touch. And that's because the dry ice is taking heat energy from the water molecules. And it's cooling. And eventually, those two things are going to come to equilibrium they're going to be the same. And then that reaction will be slower. But right now those bubbles are pretty, pretty intense. And the sound is intense. So you're gonna hear all of this gurgling from different places today as we continue our experiments because I'll move things out of the way, but they'll keep reacting until they're done reacting. And when it's done, we'll just have our water and then we'll have, that's so cool. That is so cool. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, the table's getting cool right there where it was touching. 
All right, I'm gonna move this. I gotta be careful, I dropped one of these beakers last night. Oh, what's the suggestion? Grayson said to put ketchup on it. <laughs> put ketchup on it? Ketchup on the dry ice? I'm guessing, yeah. Alright, get ketchup. At the end. At the end, yeah, but grab it so we don't forget. Grab the ketchup out of the... I don't know how much ketchup we have left, Grayson, because Mr. C's been eating a whole bunch when he gets the chance. Oh, we got a little bit left. Good. Alright, so we've got that gurgling. I want to try something else. And I want to show you something that I think is super interesting. What I've done is I have a graduated cylinder here. It is 2,000 milliliters, which is 2 liters. So if you took like a 2 liter soda bottle and poured it out, it would fill this up. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of water to this. Can you see the top of this? Is it all right? There we go. And then what we're going to do is we're going to just take a little bit of dry ice. We're going to take a little bit of dry ice. I'm going to put the other glove on. It's like a regular day going outside in the cold with two mismatching gloves. We're going to put, we're going to get it rolling really well. Oh. Look at that. Every I wish we had a camera on this. Everything is just covered in the fog. Now, it's all pouring out of the top of this. And I built a contraption with just some parts that I had here at the house. And I've done this before, but look at this. I have a styrofoam cup that fits into this. I'm gonna push it down in, and then we have a hose here. So instead of it coming out of the top here, I can control the pressure of the air coming out. Oh darling, I'm beautiful, aren't I? Yes. Doing science in the kitchen in the morning with my friends at home is the most amazing thing in the world. Now, you might be thinking, that's not as cool as you want it to be, Mr. C. Actually it is, here's why. Do you remember we made some bubble solution? couple of uh, maybe a week ago maybe a little longer ago I have some bubble solution left I saved it I put it in a bottle and what we're gonna try all right can you see the reaction is starting to slow down I put a lot of dry ice in there and there's not that much water so that the temperatures are coming together quickly and I also have this little towel here so that I try to keep the soap. There we go. And I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna change sides. There we go. I'm gonna dip this in here. <laughs> I'm holding bubbles. This one is, look at this. Now, when we were trying to do our soap, oh, oh, that was beautiful. Oh, hold on. Let's get some more soap on there. Let's get a really good one. This one's perfect, maybe not. Oh, all right, all right, all right. I can hold, oh, so my gloves. So as you can see, the reaction is slowing down. I can actually increase this again by adding maybe a little bit more warm water to change that temperature. And it starts gurgling immediately. There we go. Here we go, I wanna make one more bubble. When they're bouncy like that, it's the best. I'm trying to see if I can get it. Oh, I got one, two, three bounces almost out of that one. So this is something you can actually do at your house. It's really fun. And the thing is, is 
what I like about doing this is that I'm not able to get my fingers down into where the dry ice is, right? To keep my fingers away from touching that so I don't hurt my skin. And what you can also do then, after you've had enough fun making bubbles, Okay, so the bubbles to touch, they're they're cool, but they're not they're not cold by any means. So you can handle them. I could actually make a bubble and hold it with my hand, and that's why this is a fun experiment for all of you to try at home when you have the chance to get some dry ice, because you're not holding the dry ice, you're just holding the fog. It's going to be cool, but it's not cold by any means. All right, we could add food coloring to this. Um, I don't have it with me up here. I didn't bring it. No, that's of the gel. Um, but the reason I don't want to add food coloring to this right now is because I want to actually add a little bit of soap. So what we're going to do is we're going to get this reaction just going ever so slightly. Mrs. C, can you grab me? Well, I'm going to put it... Hmm. I'm going to add some soap to this. Will you grab me a, a baking pan or a sheet? Yeah, I need a pan for this because you'll see why. Okay, we're going to do it anyway. Here we go. Don't worry about it. We're only going to be able to do this for a couple of seconds. <laughs> you'll see why. Just a little bit of soap. All right, so we know that the soap... Remember you guys made the sock bubbles? So you are breathing out carbon dioxide with the sock bubbles. And here, what we're doing is we're just using the carbon dioxide bubbles that are being produced, capturing them in soap bubbles. It's the same thing as the snake bubbles from your mouth when you blew through the sock. It's so cool, it's just slithering down. So it's gonna make a mess, all the soap's gonna come down, but I have it on this and I'll, I'll, I'll try to contain it. Now, if we did that earlier, when the reaction was super intense, it would just be going all over the place. But I waited on purpose. So now, the question there was, can you hold the bubbles? And the answer is yes. Are they cool? Yeah, they're cool to the touch, but it's nothing that you have to worry about at this point, because, look at that. Scrub-a-dub, scrub-a-dub-a-dub-a-dub. And it'll just keep going. It's definitely slowed down, the reaction's slowed down. It's having a hard time even getting the bubbles out, and then it tips over, it looks like a snake. Do, 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 do. All right. My favorite part about this is I can actually get to hold the bubbles. It's just, it's really cool. All right, so it's not as bad. We didn't make as much of a mess as I thought. I guess I'll put it behind me. Everything is going behind me. We're just gonna let this soap over. Oh, don't put it by my plant. It won't get your plant. Ha! <laughs> All right, so I wanna try something else with bubbles. I've never done this before. And I know that people sometimes come up to me after shows and they say, Mr. C, you always say you've never done things before. It's because sometimes I try to actually do them the first time with audiences so that you get a genuine reaction and I think this is, if this works, I'll be really excited. So we know that the CO2 creates that fog, right? And we know that the CO2 fog is more dense than the air around it, and it just kind of hovers and sits down in the container, like we had in our beaker. Speaking of which, our beaker is now completely done. The reaction is over. All the dry ice is gone. Now what we're going to do... I like the blue glove, it's my favorite color. We're just gonna put a few little pieces in here. In my concern, well, we'll see if it works. It might be too close. But what we're gonna try to do is, I took a little pipette. 
I might be too aggressive there. And I'm going to use this pipette. Oh. We're going to try to put this bubble. Uh, you know what it is. It's our bowl. Our reaction is too close and it's putting pressure on our bubble. I can see it. It's wanting to sit. Yeah, it's touching. Our bubble was floating. Our bubble was floating. Uh-oh. And now what happened was is I have soap in there. And it's going to try to, it's trying to make bubbles like it was in the tower. I don't know if you can see that. They look like ghost bubbles. Let's try one more. There we go. Can you see the bubble starting to form in the bottom? It's hard to see, but here they come. They're gonna start form like a, uh, a snake hatchery here. All right, so we got it to float. And what I was trying to show you is that we can get the, the, the bubble to actually float in our carbon dioxide because it's like a layer of air that it's sitting on. So we know that bubbles float around us, but if it's, it's thick enough and dense enough, it'll actually just float right there. Now, I'm gonna set this over here closer to the sink. I don't know if anybody's noticed anything behind me that I haven't talked about yet. And I'm talking about this right here. So what we did is we actually thought about an activity and I took a two liter bottle and we know that the CO2 is producing gas right so the CO2 is producing gas and that gas builds up pressure so if we close this the gas builds up pressure and eventually like our Alka-Seltzer film canisters they erupt and they pop and so what I did yesterday because I wasn't sure what the weather was going to do I actually created like a two and a half minute video where I took this bottle and this contraption outside. And I'm just gonna talk to you about what we did first. I took a little bit of water. I'm just gonna seem weird to pour this into here first. I'm recycling, we had some empty milk jugs. So now I have lots of warm water. I'm gonna pour some in here, just a little bit. And then what we did outside is we took a piece of dry ice, put it in, and then I capped it. And then I hammered it in so that it required a lot of pressure for this cap to pop out. Are you guys interested to see what might happen if we do this outside? You guys wanna see the video? Roll the footage. <laughs> I've always wanted to say that. Roll the footage. So I got really warm water out of the kitchen sink just now. We're gonna fill it up. Just put a little bit, I'm gonna add a little bit more water this time. And then what I'm gonna do is try to find about the same size piece of dry ice. And, and for both of these and put it in, we'll see how far it goes. I can hear it gurgle. <laughs> it's already building up pressure. We can definitely see the dry ice sublimating in the water. It looks like it's bubbling, like it's boiling. It's creating that pressure. And here in a second, it's gonna build up so much pressure that it's not gonna be able to contain it and it should take off. 
72 feet it just shot. That's awesome. I'm gonna try it with my hand. It's gonna scare me. It's gonna scare me so bad. So I'm not gripping it, I'm just kinda... Whoa! Oh, I almost caught it. <laughs> that was so awesome. We're gonna do that again. Whoa! <laughs> Look at it go! That was so cool! Alright, that's the power of compressed air. Wasn't that amazing? We were having so much fun with that yesterday. It just, it never ended. Obviously those are things that leave it to the professionals to do those experiments, but I wanted to show you what was happening. And right before the video, we actually were experiencing the pressure buildup. And I'm just gonna show that to you again without shooting the rocket off here in the house. Add some warm water. Add this piece of dry ice. I'm gonna add two pieces so that we have a little bit more of a reaction. And then, literally, just putting that on there, the pressure's gonna, it just shoots it off. And so imagine when I hammer that down and I just drill that in there, the, It'll keep doing that because it, this is um, a great example for Newton's third law, equal and opposite reactions. What's happening is we have the gas pushing this direction, which causes the bottle to go that direction and just, just takes off. What I should have done, and maybe we still will because we'll have some extra dry ice, turn this into a rocket, build a cone for it, maybe some wings to see if I can get it to fly faster. I haven't checked the weather outside yet, um, but I know it was raining yesterday, so... We might not get to go play in the grass, but if we shoot any other cool videos, I'll make sure we post them. So we're gonna let that kind of gurgle back here in our holder and just let it do its thing. So I also have a balloon and I have some juice. Well, it's not juice, it's Gatorade. It's sport juice. All right, so I have some Gatorade and I thought to myself, man, I just really wish my soda was, or my Gatorade was carbonated. And we hear that, right? When you drink a soda at your house, people are like carbonated drinks or carbonated water. And what we're doing is we're actually putting carbon dioxide into the drink and that's what causes those bubbles. So you can actually carbonate your own drinks. We have a soda stream here at the house where we pump carbon dioxide into water or if we wanna make a soda. Or you can just take some dry ice, drop it in, and let it sit to carbonate. And it will actually put bubbles into the drink. Now my recommendation is if you do something like this that you actually wait for the reaction to stop or you pour it into another cup so that you don't have to worry about getting any dry ice in your mouth because that will burn your skin if it makes contact with it for any amount of time. But right, that's a spooktacular little drink you could have. Uh, set it up. And that's perfect because one of our friends has suggested several times we should use apple juice. But... Yeah, we didn't have apple juice. Someone drank it all before we decided to do this. So we didn't have apple juice, but this is definitely an alternative to sparkling cider, right? Apple juice that has bubbles in it. This is sparkling Gatorade, or it will be. So we're gonna let that do its thing for a little bit. All right, so we've got all these different little experiments happening. We've got to come back to some of them here at the end. But I have a balloon here also. And what we're going to do is I have these little pellets. They're all different sizes. I'm going to put a couple of pellets into this balloon, hopefully. Ah, oh, I'll use this pipette to push it in. There we go. We'll do another little piece. Get a couple of pieces in there. So typically when we inflate a balloon, 
We inflate it with our breath, but I thought we could try to do this. I don't know if it's gonna work. I could have put a little bit of water in there. Here, we'll do one like that. I've got another one set up, that's a good idea. We'll add a little bit of water. Let's see here, I just don't wanna put my hand on the dry ice. Oh, my gloves inside out. Oh. <laughs> now it's stuck the same way. Ay, 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 ay. Thanks for putting up with me. Another? I do have another glove. There. That's a whole show, just putting the glove on. All right, here we go. That's too big. Oh, look at the balloon over here already. Uh -oh. What's wrong? That's not what I'm doing. Oh, there we go. Get that in there. One more little piece. Look at it smoking. Oh, oh, oh. I can't, I can't tie it with the glove. All right, so the yellow one is just a couple pieces of dry ice. The orange one is dry ice and I added a little bit of water to it. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see the water droplets starting to form on the bottom? Can you see that on the camera? So it's really hard to see, but it's already condensing. It's condensing. And what we have is because it's so cold inside of there that the water, uh, the water vapor in the room is actually condensing on this balloon. So I'm gonna set these back here as well. I just don't want it to pop and scare me. I'll set it here. We're good as it's there. This one is almost done reacting. When it's done, we'll try it. We've got one more we're gonna try. I'm excited about this. Empty bowl. We're gonna put some water in it. Do you recognize this bowl, Mrs. C? <laughs> so I, I barely put I barely put any water in it at all. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get this bubbling. sound is just amazing. It's gurgling. Now, what we're going to try, I have tried this before. I'm usually not successful, but because it's live and I'm with you guys, it's going to work today. I have faith. And if it doesn't work the first time, we could be in trouble because what we're going to do is we're going to take this shoestring. Well, it's a shoestring and I'm gonna dip it into soap solution and I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna run it on the edge of my container. So what's gonna happen is hopefully I create like a layer of bubble film. I don't know if it's gonna work. I'm just gonna put a little layer of soap with my finger Did it go? No. Ah. I don't know if it's holding enough liquid. Here we go. No, work, please work. <gasps> I got it. Crystal ball, what do you have for us today? We have carbon dioxide, tomorrow liquid nitrogen, all sorts of, oh my gosh, I wonder how big it's gonna get before it pops. We're cheering for you, Lily says you can do it. And you did it, she was right. All right, I'm gonna not move, because as I move, I can see the bubble. Let's see how big we can get it. What's gonna happen when it pops? Okay. 
It looks like a mushroom. Like, uh, Toad <laughs> looks from, okay. from Mario Brothers. Oh, okay, so it's getting heavy. This is the biggest and best bubble I've ever gotten with this. That is 100% true. It's like coming over the edge. Yeah. Do you think it's going to ever pop? This could be the rest of the show. We may be here forever. No, it's going. It's going. It's going. It's going. It's going. Oh my gosh, it's so awesome. <laughs> it's never going to pop. All right, everybody, should I pop it? No. I, I feel like it's just going to like take over the... <laughs> the house? <laughs> Take over the house. <laughs> ah, bubble monsters! We live in a bubble. We do live in a bubble right now. Oh, it's starting to make bubbles on the edge that back here. Can you see bubbles up front? Oh, oh something's happening. Oh, that was cool. That was, and look, inside we've got more snake egg. Dun, dun, dun. And I think that's from when I was trying to get the soap the first time or second time. I wonder, I don't think I can get it again, but there's only one way to try it. Should we try it again? Knock those bubbles down. Get some more warm water. See, what I'm afraid of now it's gonna, it's gonna start doing the snake bubble thing, watch. I gotta do this fast. Oh my gosh. It's like I have a professional career for you now. So awesome. It is so awesome. It is so cool to make this happen. Can you guys see the rings, the bubbles up there, Heather? A little bit. Yeah, so the like the bubbles the, oh 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 that's so cool. That is so cool. Alright, I'm gonna put this into the sink. Because it's just going to keep doing this and we're going to bubble over everywhere. Oh, soapy hands. Let me wipe some of this off. Got a big mess here. Which is half the fun. <laughs> Can you see it in the sink? We're just going to let it bubble over in the sink. It's just going to go to town. If it, it'll be all right. All right. So those were cool. Let's come back to some of the things that we have started and we're going to wrap up our time together today. Hopefully you've had a lot of fun seeing some cool things you can do with dry ice, but let's look at our balloons first because they're right here in front of me. All right. So there's a little bit of dry ice left in this one barely any left in that now to the touch the balloon is cool I can feel that it's cool inside the co2 all right now as I touch it more and more it's gonna warm up but I definitely can feel how cool it is now we put a little more dry ice in this one plus we added the water so it caused the dry ice to sublimate faster inside the orange balloon than in the yellow balloon so that's a really cool experiment um, and I wonder like you could test this to see like different temperatures of water with the dry ice um, those, like mega big balloons, that would be cool. All right, so there's some fun there. Gases, right? Toss those over there. All right, what do we got over here? We've got. So earlier we put an ice cube. Um, how do? Which camera can you see this with? Earlier we put an ice cube. Can you see this one? I want to make sure they can what see it. What are we seeing? Just, we have water. We can barely see the ice in the red one. Yeah, so I'm going to tip it like this. So in the red container was the dry ice. And we know that the dry ice looks different in there than it does with our pink one. The pink one has liquid in it, right? H2O, water. So the ice cube went from a solid to a liquid. The dry ice, on the other hand, there is no liquid in the container. It literally just went from a solid to a gas. And if we get to wait long enough, which we won't, because this has been this has been sitting here for like half an hour, but it's sublimating. It's going from 
solid to a gas and there will be nothing nothing there once it's done sublimating so that's pretty cool I don't know if you can hear the sounds it's like gurgling it's just like all right so we have our h2o versus our our ice versus our dry ice that's pretty cool set this over here now this is super cold and officially all of the dry ice has finished all right oh, he said pop the balloons pop the balloons i don't know what you can do i can pop the balloon for you guys let's pop the balloon oh, he said pop, make red dry ice make red dry ice so i can't make dry ice at home um, I actually go out and buy it, so I don't know if... Maybe you can. Oh, make dry... Oh, the ketchup. Do we need to do the ketchup? Pop the balloon and then do the ketchup. Pop the balloon and... All right, here we go. Do it all. Do it all. Let's see. I got something I can just poke and pop it. Here we go. It's got a little dry ice in Hold it, though. Ears. All right, here we go. Hold your ears out there. In three, two, one. <laughs> All right, it's just frozen water now. All right, here we go. In three, two, one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> There's a little piece of dry ice that was talking to us. I don't know if they can hear it. All right, and then I've got, what was the question? We wanted to put ketchup on it? All right, let's do it. Here, let me see the ketchup. this up mm. I'm not sure about this I'm gonna turn it over so we got a nice so eventually this piece this block of dry ice will turn to nothing all right ew Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> ooh, ooh. You know what it looks like? Like the little chocolate chips you put in cookies. The Hershey Kisses? Yes. That, I did not expect that to happen. It's instantly, oh, that's so cool, but so weird and gross. Is it because it's a non-Newtonian fluid like we talked about the other day? So I think what's going on here is that it's so cold Look, it's not even, it's like not sticking at all. It's so cold that the bottom, it's literally just like freezing the ketchup and then it's just sliding like, almost like an ice skate. Oh, I almost put my hand in the ketchup here. All right, let's try that again. Do we have mustard? No, we don't, no, we don't have mustard. Look at that, that's so cool. I'll turn it to you guys so you guys can see it slide towards you. Hold on, let me knock off all this ketchup. That is the coolest thing I've ever seen. Right, here we go. Oh, that's so... Who said this to do this? Was it Grayson? Um, no, hold on a second. We have another request for more... We really want colored water, which is really... Colored water? All right, let's do some color... Yeah, I can record the. Yeah, it's I, downstairs. I don't know. It'll take me a minute. I know right where it's at downstairs. If you walk into the office. But we our time. Here's what we'll do. We are going to record a couple of these things and share them with you guys. Cause this is so gross but so cool. And look at this one. Oh. It's carbonated, but that tastes horrible. Ugh, I don't like that. But this is mesmerizing. They look like... Oh, right here, it's like... Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that. That is so cool. I wish this was in slow motion. But I know that camera's not set up for that right now.
It's like a volcano of lava erupting. They look, they literally look like chocolate chip drops, don't they? All right. That is awesome. Thank you for that suggestion. He said you make a dry ice slide and it's going to catch it down. <laughs> yes, it's so... Whee! Oh, no, once it freezes, then it gets stuck. Here, let's see if we can get this choo-choo train of ketchup to go down. You were awesome today. I hope you guys learned some stuff, had some fun, got some really cool ideas about trying some things at your own house. But most importantly, keep the learning going at your house with your family and friends. Even if you don't see something here and then you're like, oh, that would be a great idea. We recommend that you try it at home. Take pictures and share them with us. You guys have been fantastic. I'll see you tomorrow. We're doing liquid nitrogen. Make sure you tune in. Bye, guys. Have a great day.